Today is a new day, a day to recommit to your goals, a day to overcome what has held you back, a day to break free and push further. What will you bring? I'm bringing new determination, new strength, new focus, and new patience. What will you bring? My name is Adrian Gaskin, and I've been an elite personal trainer for over a decade. I am continually learning cutting edge techniques in movement science. Now I train the next generation of personal trainers. I'm going to teach you highly functional movements that will strengthen you, build your confidence, and transform how you move in the world. Let's get started with our warm up. Today we'll start with jogging on the spot, keeping it light and bouncy. This warm up will consist of three running components a jog, a run, and a sprint, with three dimensional stretching and a walkout flow in between. Let's start with three dimensional stretching. Adopt a staggered stance. Left foot forward, right foot back. Right hand reaches up, exhaling as you do so. Inhale as you return to the starting position. Place your left hand on your left hip, reach and exhale. Move in and out of these two positions fluidly. Sink your breath to the pattern. Reach high, feel the lengthening through the front of your body. Hand on the outside of your hip, encourage lengthening through the outside of your glute as you reach away. Change sides, right foot forward, left foot back, feet hip width apart. Reach your left arm up to try and touch the ceiling as you come high on the toes of your left foot. Return to the starting position. Bring your right hand onto the outside of your right hip. Shift your hip into that hand as you reach your left hand in the opposite direction. Let's move in and out of these two positions. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as you return. Move with your breath. That's it. Now let's run. You are now moving faster than earlier, but not quite sprinting. Feet spring softly off the ground. Keep those arms moving as well. Aim for a pace that challenges you. Into our walkout flow. Squat down. Walk your hands forward into a plank position. Push your left hand into the ground. Rotate, reaching your right hand towards the ceiling, followed by your left side. Walk back. Once on your feet, jump off the ground. Land, repeat. Squat down, walk out, rotate, rotate, Return to your feet, jump, repeat. Interact with the ground purposefully. If confident, speed it up while maintaining control. To modify, just leave out the jump at the end. Keep your core engaged as you flow through. Time to sprint. Speed right up, really driving your heart rate up. Explode off the balls of your feet, driving your arms with intention. To modify, return to a jog or a fast march. Use those arms.
Now that we're warmed up and ready to practice, let's head right into it. This workout will require two dumbbells and a looped band. Let's prime the system with today's power practice, knee drives. Step your right foot back, load the left. Push through the ground as you drive your right knee towards your chest, coming up onto the toes of your left. Change sides. Work on power and speed. If confident with this, pop off the ground when driving the knee up. Otherwise, stay grounded. Your arms will help drive this movement. Use your breath for power. Focus on learning the movement in this round. Don't worry about being perfect. Rest. Your workout will consist of four exercises, each performed for 40 seconds, followed by a 20 second rest, repeated three times. Your exercises are Romanian deadlift, crawling, prone extension, and knee drive, which you have just practiced. First, the deadlift. Safely pick up your dumbbells. Rest them where your pockets would be, standing tall. Shift your hips backwards as you unlock your knees, running the dumbbells down the front of your legs. Push the ground away from you to return to standing. Repeat. Your spine stays neutral throughout. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you return to standing. Feel that hip hinge as you fold forward. Beautiful. Rest. Put the dumbbells aside. We'll use these shorter rest breaks to focus on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. Next, we are crawling. On all fours, tuck your toes and lift your knees. Step your opposite hand and foot forward while balancing an imaginary glass of water on your lower back. Alternate sides. After three or four steps forward, you will then crawl backwards. Take small steps as you familiarize yourself with this pattern. Spine stays neutral. Keep breathing as you move forwards and backwards. This is a challenging movement. Take breaks if you need. Relax. Rest is vital to recovery. You want to be able to push yourself, but also to take care of yourself. Next is the prone extension. You will need a band. Come onto the ground on your stomach. Hold the band with both hands right on your chest. Lift your chest and feet, pulling the band apart, elbows close by your side. Lower back down. Lift again. Squeeze your knees together as you lift. Inhale at the bottom, exhale at the top. The top position should be long, keeping length in the back of the body. Exhale as you lift and pull. Rest. Band goes off to the side. Keep moving. Walk around. Some gentle stretches and hydrate if you need. Okay, back to it. Lastly, your knee drive. Sit up in a staggered stance, right foot forward. Push your right foot into the ground as your left knee explodes forward and up. Change sides. Use your arms to power this movement. Either drive up onto your toes or all the way off the ground. Do what works for you. If coming off the ground, land softly. Reset between each rep.
push yourself here. Rest. First round done and dusted. Take some full breaths to recover. Now we know the movement, we can rip through these next rounds. Prepare for the deadlift and the second round. Pick up the dumbbells safely. Hinge at the hips, keeping the dumbbells close to your legs to ensure your hips go backwards. Abdomen is braced. Tuck your chin to keep the neck long. Stand tall at the top of the movement. Do not lean back. Slow, controlled tempo throughout this movement. Exhale as you pull up and keep the weights close to your body at all times. Nice. Rest. Put the dumbbells down. Drop straight into that rest. Deep breathing, relax your body. That's it. Come onto the ground in preparation to crawl. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes. Crawl forward in a controlled manner. Small movements as you crawl backwards in order to maintain your form. Brace each time you connect with the ground. If comfortable, speed it up slightly. Keep your hips level throughout. Core stays engaged. You're working on your coordination and strength here. This one takes time to master. Rest. Drop your shoulders, unclench your jaw, shake your limbs loose, find ease in your body here. Back to the prone extension. Pick up your band. When extending, imagine you're crushing a walnut between your knees. Encourage your shoulder blades towards one another as you pull the band apart. Keep the spine long, avoiding compression in the lower back. The focus is on feeling length from your head to your toes, not on lifting high off the ground. Exhale as you lift and pull the band apart. Well done. Band off. Time for our quick breather here. Keep your muscles warm and stretch out wherever needs it right now. Feeling good? The knee drive is a good chance to drive your heart rate up. Let's go. Step back, drive. Change sides. See how high you can get. Always land soft. Reset, go. Feel the athleticism your body possesses. This is our power move, so give it your max effort and see what you can do. Remember, you don't have to jump if it doesn't work for you. Rest. Round two accomplished. Bring your heart rate down with some deep breaths and let's get focused on crushing that final round. Make sure you're hydrated for this last push. Now our last round. Deadlift. Keep the movements clean. Hinge. Only going as low as you can. Maintain a neutral spine. Push the ground away from you using the power of your hips to get back to the top. Squeeze the dumbbells tight. Sinking into the crease of your hips as you descend. Really focus on making these last reps your best ones. Find your strength here. 
Beauty. Well done. Put the dumbbells aside. Use these rest breaks to shake out and move around. Check in with your body here. Time to crawl. Make this pattern as rhythmic and fluid as possible. The reciprocal arm and leg should be synchronized. Core is active. Remember the glass of water on your lower back. Use this last set to play with the speed of your movements. Explore what you can do. Breathe through it. Nearly there. Keep going. Rest. We're moving through it now. Deep, full breaths here to recover. Find your band and prepare for the prone extension. Lengthen, extend, and pull. Squeeze your knees together. Reach your toes to the wall behind you. Shoulders low, driving away from your ears. Squeeze your glutes to keep your lower back healthy. Last few here. Dig deep and feel your upper chest open. Perfect. Rest. Band off. This is our last rest period. Take full advantage of it and let's finish strong together. Final exercise coming up. Knee drive. Move intentionally from one side to the other. See how quickly you can set up and drive. This is the time to push it a little bit, calling upon those energy reserves. Land soft, transition, drive. Use your breath to fuel these last reps. That's it. Strive to keep that good form and give your best effort right to the end. Almost there, the finish line is so close. That was a great effort. Let's head into our well-deserved cool down. Time for our cool down. From standing, gently rotate on the spot letting your arms go where they want. That's it. Now slowly roll forward, one vertebrae at a time. In the bottom position, lightly bounce. Keep the knees slightly bent. Bend your knees and walk forward onto all fours for bird dog. Reach your right arm straight forward and your left leg straight back behind you. Switch sides. Left arm forward, right leg backwards. Keep going. Keep your core engaged here. Now step your right foot forward into a half kneeling position. Your left knee should be directly below your hip. Tuck your pelvis in slightly, pointing the front of your hip in the direction of the ceiling. Feel the lengthening sensation in the front of your left hip. Hands can rest on your hips or reach your left hand towards the ceiling to increase the stretch. Change sides, left foot forward. Tuck the pelvis. Start to normalize your breathing. Reach your right hand to the ceiling if you'd like. Breathe into the stretch.
Now sit back into your heels, appreciating the length this position offers the lower back. Make your way onto your back, arms draped by your sides, feet flat on the ground or legs extended, whatever feels best for you. Breathe. Inhale through the nose, bypassing your chest into the belly. Feel your midsection expand, followed by the rib cage. Follow that with a long exhalation. Repeat. This long, calm breath will help downregulate your nervous system, allowing your body to recover faster. Beautiful. Stay as long as you like here or make your way to standing. Strength work is incremental. Keep at it and you will feel real change. Thanks for working out with me today.